Hey kids, uh, I do believe it's the uh, 12th, which means uh, this is the 12th day and movie uh, for uh, 31 days of horror for Halloween. Reviews every, every day until the world explodes or Halloween happens. Uh, Oh my god. We're talking about amateur hour for this one. Uh, this is directed by some hack named Dan Allen. I have a friend who uh, his uh, original last name is uh, Allen, but he was adopted by uh, his mother's uh, second uh, husband. Uh, but uh so he would be dan allen uh, but uh he's only directed this one movie and hopefully uh, they don't allow him to do any more uh it stars uh tiffany uh ellen robinson uh she uh her character's name's tina i'm not going to really talk too much about this movie it, it uh it starts out, I mean, the opening sequence, it, it wasn't great, but at least it was uh, telling me that this was a legitimate horror movie, and uh, and it's shot at night. That, that, that's an important point uh, for later on. Uh, but Tina is introduced after that uh, sequence. Uh, her mother died left her her house but she also uh, left her in a mountain of debt and having to uh, take care of her special needs brother uh, and if you've ever uh, had financial hardship trust me you'll find her extremely sympathetic they spent all this time doing that and there's these little hints that they're not taking this seriously uh, just little bits and then when things start rolling it's quite obvious that they just don't give a shit uh, uh, this really looks like an amateur production with a, a tiny bit more money than usual uh, but it's still cheap and you know but uh, do I even care about the plot uh, somehow a uh, antique dealer who uh, Tina uh, works for and got fired from because she's going bankrupt uh, or her boss uh, there's a mummy with an amulet and they decide well her uh, boyfriend uh, talks her into uh, uh, her boyfriend's uh, an actor named Chris K his his name's Luke in the movie uh, uh, he talks her into stealing the amulet, but uh, his buddies, a bunch of fucking yahoos that just annoy the fuck out of you, uh, because that's what their job is, uh, they take the mummy and the amulet. Uh, the mummy doesn't like being separated from the amulet. Uh, uh, Tina's brother, uh, Max played by Victor Toth. Uh, he finds the mummy at one point, uh, was looking at the amulet, part of it fell off. Uh, uh, the mummy does move, I think at that point he gets scared. He puts the uh, amulet back, but part of it he takes, so it's not complete. Apparently, the amulet can give the mummy power and take it away. So you can, you can, uh, you, they don't want to explain that at all. But, uh, oh my god. Uh, the movie, this movie's shit. It, 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 you know, it, the humor, they, they, that pop in, like I said, the little bits of humor in it, and it's like, tell you, uh, it starts with a Conway West quote. 
uh, I should have knew known I was in trouble uh, when that happened. Actually, I was thinking I was in trouble, and I was right. Uh, the movie just goes downhill from there, uh, and uh, it's everything during this whole setup where they they're in a house, not her house, but some other house, and the mummy wakes up and and kills a couple women and oh welcome back my first wife welcome back my second wife apparently they have no names in Egypt for women uh, they magically get dressed up like uh, an amateur production of some sort of Egyptian uh, story I mean I mean we're talking about rentals uh, or Halloween, Halloween costumes that they bought at a store. Uh, so he, he has a couple minions going around uh, trying to find the amulet and killing people. Uh, there's even a sequence with a bunch of yahoos or, who are partying during the winter in the forest. And, oh, oh God, this movie, it's just complete garbage. Uh, it, I I paid a dollar for it at Dollar Tree, and this is the movie. I mean, it looks sort of like M. Right Beast, you know, a little bit of uh, location at in, in Egypt. No, this is shot in England, uh, uh, mostly in, in one house. Actually, her house is probably still the house that is used later. Uh, which I don't let really have a problem with keep the keep the uh, m budget down, but yeah, this movie sucks so bad. Uh, everything's like I said, everything's broad daylight. They have no interest in scaring the audience, uh, and if they want it to be a comedy, at least try to make it funny. It's not funny. It. it I, I I really really was sympathetic to Tina. In the beginning, uh, they them going for comedy, which almost seems like it was uh, decided half, half, about halfway through the movie that they decided to go full comedy because they didn't have anything or any talent or anything. Uh, I'm talking about the director. Uh, do not give this motherfucker any more money. <laughs> do not. This guy can't direct. Uh, it's really, it's a bad movie. Uh, th that's all I have for uh, today's uh, 31 days. Uh, Till next time, stay safe. Always have a good time. And that means don't watch this movie. It's on Tubi if you want to subject, uh, you know, put you through this type of trash barrel film. I know.